Number 16 then from the 2019 Advanced Higher Maths. Eight mark question here. First five marks use integration by parts to find the exact value of this. Notice it's a definite integral. That's always a pest because you have to show it's being evaluated. And looks a bit over the top. We've got three terms here. And it's an x squared. You're going to have to go through it all twice. Nothing you can do. You just have to get on with it. So I'm going to differentiate that bit to hope to whittle it away and integrate that part. So integration, you integrate first. So this part waits. x squared minus 2x plus 1. Integrating that, well, it's handy in that it stays the same, but divide by the inner derivative. So upon 4. Minus the integral. Now, I'm not going to put all the evaluation brackets in. I'll have to forfeit the mark. If I don't, I'm going to show it at the side that it's meant to be evaluated. Minus the integral of, now differentiate. So that's going to be 2x minus 2. And carry this forward. e to the 4x upon 4 dx. That's what it produces. But it's to be evaluated, unfortunately. I'm just going to show it by putting this evaluated from 0 to 1. Which is a valid expression. Now I can tidy this bit up now. So I've got a quarter of x squared minus 2x plus 1 e to the 4x, because I'll not be touching that again. But I think I'll tidy this up before I go any further. You can take out 2 and you can take out 4 and make that minus a half of the integral of just x minus 1 e to the 4x dx. Evaluated from 0 to 1. Real nuisance. Ah, oh, I like to put dittos. So, minus a half of, now start again. Differentiate to whittle it away, integrate. Leave it alone because you're integrating first. So it's back to the same thing, e to the 4x upon 4 minus the integral of, now that finally differentiates down to 1, carry that forward. Close that bracket, evaluate, I'll just take that out of the way. Now, tidy it up again, just so you can keep track of things, really. e to the 4x. Now, that part's going to be minus an eighth of just x minus 1, e to the 4x. Now, simplifying this part, I've got minus minus, which is plus, and I've got an eighth of the integral of just e to the 4x dx. That's all to be evaluated. So finally, what have I got? This is a bit much, actually, for just five marks. I'm not even started to evaluate it yet. An eighth of x minus one e to the four x. Now that's going to be e to the four x divided by four, which will make it plus one upon 32 to be evaluated. Now will I tidy that up and then do the evaluation or will I just put the numbers in? I'll just put the numbers in, even though I've got these common factors. I'm tempted to tidy it all up, but I think I'll just put the numbers in now. So there's going to be two parts. First of all, when it's 1, so I've got... I can take all the e to the 4x four out. Of course I can do that. So e to the 4x means e to the 4 times this part, first of all. So what have we got inside it? We've got one quarter of, and that's one plus one, take away two. Well, that's nice, that's a zero. And that's also going to be a zero, minus an eighth of zero. But that's plus one upon 32, unfortunately. Minus, now it's going to be e to the zero. But the same again with zeros in it. So that's going to be a quarter of one, minus an eighth of negative one, but still plus one upon 32. So that's e to the 4 times, and all that just comes to 1 upon 32, minus, and e is just 1, e to the 0 is just 1, except we've got this fraction now. I've got a quarter plus an eighth plus 1 upon 32, so that's all going to be all over 32. Maybe I'll just show the working here. So that will be 8 bits, and with plus an eighth, that will be 4 bits plus 1. So I've got, maybe I'll take the, just put the 32 underneath now. So what I've got is e to the 4 minus, and that's going to be 13.
Now part B, a solid is formed by rotating the curve with this equation about the x-axis between x equals 0 and x equals 1. What's the exact volume of this solid? So you're rotating it about the x-axis. That means the radius is the y-coordinate. So the volume will be pi r squared h. Pi and y, r is y, so and h will be the little bit of x. Pi y squared dx from 0 to 1. So what is that then? So that's pi times integral from 0 to 1. You should be, shouldn't be surprised. It's going to be, no, like there's your e to the 4x when you square this. So what's that part? I'll just do over here. No, maybe I should put it in here first of all. 4x minus 1 e to the 2x squared dx. I'll just do it over here now. So you've got 4 squared x minus 1 squared e to the 4x. So that's 16 times x squared minus 2x plus 1 e to the 4x. Not very good looking x there. Which is more or less this apart from the extra 16. So I'll take that 16 out of it and make that 16 pi times the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared minus 2x plus 1 e to the 4x dx. Now you've got that answer already. The answer to that was obtained in part A. So it's 16 pi times e to the, 4, e to the power 4 minus 13 over 32. So finally, that will cancel down to just give 1 half of pi times e to the 4 minus 13 units cubed.